Hey guys, welcome to another blog test tips um, article. Today I'll be doing a fix. Um, here I have a laptop. This is a uh, Acer Aspire. Yeah. Um, the model number really doesn't matter. And what I'm going to do is actually show you how to fix an issue where it's overheating. Right? I'm going to show you how to identify on the laptop is overheating and how to actually fix the issue. Right? So remember to check out the website at www.blogtechtips.com. My name is Ricardo Gardner. Alright, let's start with how you know your laptop is overheating. You hear that high pitch sound? Okay, that's usually a clear indication that your laptop is overheating. Um, what's happening here is that as soon as your laptop starts to do anything graphically intensive, you'll notice that the fans will ramp up and you'll get that um, wind up sound. All right. If you place your hand beside the exhaust grills, which are the ones here at the side, that's where heat escapes from the laptop. From the CPU, right? You actually feel that it's hotter than normal. Also, you realize that if you place your laptop on certain surfaces and the heat cannot dissipate uh, fast enough, what it happens is that the laptop will automatically shut off. And what's that? What's happening there is that the safety feature has shipped in and it to prevent the damage, permanent damage to the laptop. All right. Usually, when you're having this issue, your laptop is usually about three years old or older. And that means that the thermal compound that's beneath the processor is wearing out. And what's happening is that um, the laptop itself is not um, getting rid of heat effectively. Right. For this fix, what we'll need is a screwdriver. We have a Phillips head screwdriver. We'll need some thermal compound. Here I have uh, the best is Arctic Silver 5. And this is a great high grade um, thermal compound. We're going to need this to replace it on the processor. So let's start guys. So the first thing I'm going to do when you come back is to show you how to actually start this assembly laptop. So I'm going to shut this down. Alright guys, so the laptop is off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the screws from beneath here. Alright, we're going to remove them. You can find them at various strike zones. You can see the holes here and we're going to remove all of them. And then from there, we're going to remove the battery, remove the ones beneath the battery and so on. Alright, we're going to flip over, lift the keyboard and then we get into the heart of the laptop so that all right so once the screws have been removed as this i showed you earlier lift the battery by using the retention um, clip you want to make sure you get um, these screws right just like this you're going to flip it over all right and now here's the tricky part all right you're going to remove the keyboard because what's happening is you have some screws on the underside all right there are some hard to get two clips right here, there's one here, here, and here. Then we're gonna lift the keyboard carefully. All right, this is tricky, so it might take a little time. So make sure you take your time. Just use a flat tip screwdriver to get to this area. All right, I'm gonna start working on this. All right, so remember, the trick to getting these up is to get the retention um, levers that are laced across here. To press them down and then to gently lift the keyboard from one side then as soon as you get the side up it should pop right up but remember do not take it all the way out also sometimes when you're trying to lift the keys will get loose but don't worry as long as you haven't bro broken the clips beneath the keys they should be able to snap back on you can do that later all right they're quite easy to get back on all right next you're gonna lift up this area all right, remember don't just yank this all the way out because of course if you look on the other side here you notice there's a ribbon cable and you don't want to bend this so use a finger and gently lift this up as soon as it's up this thing will slide right out just like that all right put this aside now what you're gonna do that we need here you find the screws here they're usually covered if not, um, you can just um, start screw unscrewing them. I pick these ears off and then start screwing these out. All right, just remember uh, the process while you're removing this section to actually lift these retention slap straps and actually slide out the connector here, disconnect these. And you want to be careful that you didn't miss any screws. So along the way, make sure you turn it over and double check, all right, if there are no screws here to be removed as in some cases. I remember all laptops are similar, so they'll open in a similar uh, manner. All right. Now, once you have 
sure that you have removed all the screws you're going to gently start to separate in the laptop at the seams it should come apart uh, relatively easily all right um, just make sure you don't force anything keep nudging it until it actually separates all right some laptops will separate on the other side as in other words you lift from the other side if it's not moving removing that way what you're going to do is turn it over and actually view it from this side all right now this is the basically the belly of the beast so to speak all right this is your entire um motherboard here of the motherboard you have the memory or the ram you have your hard drive over here you have your usb connectors here's where your um dvd drive would go all right and of course um over here you have your wireless card this is your fan this was what, what was actually making the noise as you can see it's very dirty you can actually clean that and connect it to it here we have a couple of heat pipe leads straight to the cpu all right cpu is actually screwed down and that's what we're going to actually lift clean this and we're going to actually add fresh thermal compound right here all right over here we have your graphics chip that's um, not we're not going to touch anything at all all right so basically um, this is the entire area. I'm going to show you exactly how to get to this just in a minute. All right, guys. All right, guys. We're back, and here I'm going to start the cleaning process. Now, here I have a soft bristle brush. You can actually use um, any normal brush that um, is basically designed like this. Um, this is actually from a paint set, but it doesn't really matter as it will actually get the job done. Um, you can also use, as we said, a, a paint brush, something from an art set or something like that. All right and the idea is never to touch anything here such as the circuit boards and so on right without being properly grounded so you don't need to actually touch anything here all right you don't want to start dusting while it's on the board so what we're going to do is to actually separate it from the board now here's what you do to actually separate this on the board you'll notice here there are different screw zones all right we're going to actually remove the screws if there are any there um for the most part they should all be removed already all right um, so you're going to look for anything that's um extra here such as this one right here that actually keeps the um, heat sink that actually vent the heat over there um, you're going to start removing the processor now be gentle the board will flex so you're going to carefully screw and loosen the screws do not apply too much pressure all right they're quite easy to get out all right i'm going to leave these all right here you go for the most part they should um remove with very little resistance all right now over here you'll notice that it start to it's starting to lift all right you want to watch out for cables in the way such as um this one right over here on the um wireless card so you're gonna snap this off by just basically snapping out see removes easy they're taped to the board so let's get some um leverage here and just get that sticky right off it should be removed all right just get this out of the way of the um, fan also the fan will be connected to the board so you want to watch out for any connectors um, here we have a connector right over here all right it's white so basically it's enough now if one of the screws are um, still attached do not worry just simply loosen it open right off all right Right. As you can see it comes right off now um, while you're disconnecting as I warned earlier oops, just disconnect any connectors that are remaining such as this one right here on the motherboard just be careful uh, this one will come off right up see it comes right off then just carefully slide this thing out all right and just remember the, the position of anything that you have disconnected. An easy way I find to remember it um, if you're just starting out well, um, um, is just to take a snapshot just before you disconnect anything. And later on, you can look back at that snapshot to actually have an idea where what goes where. All right? Unless you can remember it, in which case you don't really need to take a snapshot. All right? Here we have what we call thermal compound. And this is just old thermal compound. As you can see, it's dry. Um, this thing is very old, all right, very dusty as well as you can see, 
Now if you come over here, here we have the processor. Now you can actually remove this by turning this retention strap and this will slide right out, but we're not going to do that. All right. Over here, you have the compound itself. All right. So what you want to do with this whole compound, as you can see, we can focus, is you're going to actually get something like cotton or even anything like even bathroom tissue could use if you do not have any you can actually wipe this off you can actually also use alcohol um the purer the better so if you have pure um isopropanol alcohol go get it right off right um you get the gunk off and you're gonna clean this off until it's actually very very shiny then you're gonna we're gonna actually dust this removing all of the dust using our andy um paintbrush here and once we're finished with that we're gonna actually dust off the board and so on you can see it will clean off quite easily don't worry just get off all the dust all the grime and so on you're gonna clean the back cover over here you're gonna remove all the dust from the back cover and the crevices all right because we give this a total dust down now just to show you how dirty this thing can get if you look over here this is actually a dust bunny that's actually in here all right three years of use it will actually pick up all the lint and so on from around else you want to get rid of all of that all right, I'll come back in a minute when all this is clean. All right, guys. All right, guys, we're back. So what you're going to do here is that you're going to um, get your thermal compound. As you said, Arctic Silver is a good um, example of that. Um, you can use others. Um, this is the preferred one that I use. All right, so I'm going to apply it here. All right, so um, here I've applied the thermal compound. Do not worry about it spreading as it will um, spread over time. All right, so when I apply this section here, it will actually spread out. All right, so we're gonna close this off, and then we can um, reapply and screw this thing back down. All right, as you can see, the thermal compound is applied. As you could have seen earlier, it was um, we have cleaned off the processor. All right. Also, you can notice that the each sink is now also clean as you could have seen here all right so now we're going to actually apply this back into place so all you got to do is just slide this right back into place i suggest that you start from this side and you work your way over all right all right once you're sure it's in place you can move by the screw alignments so you got to um Make sure this goes down. The thermal compound will actually spread out over the thing and make perfect contact with the copper E pipes. All right. Also, you can just use basically a rice grain amount on both um, the both chips beneath here. Um, a drop, although other people recommend other things, but um, I find that this a moderate amount because it will spread out will work. All right. And just make sure that goes all the way down and make sure it has a flush um, finish. I'll come back whenever this is screwed back up. Just make sure we're gonna rever do everything in reverse. We're gonna reconnect everything, we're gonna screw things back down into place. Alright. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I've applied the thermal compound, everything is now um, finished. I've basically reassembled and reconnected everything. Remember, in these cases you can actually refer to your picture right now to actually tell you what goes here, unless you can actually remember. Alright. I reconnected the um, Wi-Fi also reconnected the fan mount header to the motherboard so that you can power the fan all right the fan is very clean now I have rerouted the cable I've also um, seated but the processor all right it's very firm now as you can see here meaning that is making contact all right now you also want to make sure you double check to make sure you didn't um, cause anything to go loose for example um, the R drive over here Right, so let's make sure that everything is snug and in place, make sure the memory and so on is in um, place. And from here, I'm just going to basically do in reverse what I did earlier. Reattach the back and place what the screws in and fit back up the keyboard and so on. So you'll, next time you'll see this, I'll actually be showing you what I'm doing when I'm trying to power it up. Alright guys. Alright guys, so I've basically reassembled the, the laptop. Alright, so now this is the moment of truth basically. If you have um, reconnected everything, you should boot it. It should boot up normally. Alright. So I'm just gonna actually 
hit the power button allow it. Um, as you can see the laptop is booted up if you listen you're not hearing any the fan ramping up anymore meaning that the it's basically running um, okay um, quick test you may want to run through the keyboards to make sure that all the keys are working in that case the keyboard is properly reconnected and of course if you listen as we were saying before you won't hear so this has been a block tech tips um, fix i want to thank you guys for tuning in please subscribe to our youtube channel um we're on the up and up so we're almost where um, subscribers are going and we want you to be a part of the family so please hit that like button or that subscribe button and go over to the website and actually leave a comment and so on to show your support for the help if we have any provided any for you all right guys and thank you for tuning in this is ricardo gardner from blackdecktips.com saying goodbye until our next fix all right guys it's a quick extra here i'm playing a 3d intensive game if nothing would normally cause this for the laptop to start making noise this would actually cause it to actually eat up or ramp up all right so as you can see i can actually play a simple 3d game or any 3d game and basically the laptop will not eat up as it did before all right and thank you guys just wanted to show you this to show you that um this is actually working 3d game running you're not hearing the fun ramping up you're not seeing the laptop overheat all right guys bye